is mid lane Echo. Echo for the mid lane, he gets to bring teleport, he gets to become a split pusher in the mid game, and then this becomes what I like to call uh, a mullet composition, where <laughs> the Maokai and the Olaf, right. the Maokai and Olaf and the MF will take care of business in the front, and then Echo's gonna try to have a party in the back line. So his like ideal it. team fight is coming from a split push position and flanking them. And you almost have to find some kind of a flank as Echo, right? It's so yep. hard to set up all of his damage, you need the element of surprise. Exactly. So if he can end up having that and have a 1-3-1 one, one with the team, could be a good game for Counter Logic Gaming as they have a decent amount of engage, but they also have to worry about the early game of the Rengar and a little bit of that Corky too, because he's able to catch people out, do a lot of damage with Thunderlords and the fact that he has the Gatling gun to just chunk people out. And the bottom lane. It's actually quite a good bottom lane here for both teams, but it is a winning matchup for CLG. They had two of them yesterday. They lost both times. Can they actually win with a winning matchup here? Because of the ward that who he had put in, put down previously, because he got the shove up, Ninja, half HP, doesn't really know how to jungle too well. Oh, he's low. Oh, it's oh, gonna be a good takes the plant the wrong way! Or is that the right, right way? Backwards, it, he has to blow the flash. Either way, he's gonna get himself out alive, but that was so close. Now he gets to roam. Now he's trying to make some kind of a play here in the top part of the map. It's gonna be Seraph having to run away from this one, who he's got a lot of damage on top of him. Seraph to the run. flash available to get away. Alex each gonna be coming in. Exhaust is used. A little bit more damage on either side would do it, but both are gonna be walking away. Priority by shoving in and knowing the matchup, that gave the advantage here for Xmithy, and he may get a kill. Speaking of going in and knowing the matchup, Xmithy again gonna be forcing Ninja away. That last axe isn't gonna be finding its mark, but Xmithy is just not willing to allow Ninja any breathing room. Way down into the bottom part of the map, gonna be clearing out one of these wards, thanks to throwing down a control ward, who he's hanging around as well. CLG wants to set up some kind of a play here if they can. Going to be forcing this wave into the Tier 1. Hakuo and Apollo recognizing there's some danger here, backing up for now. Yeah, got to be careful. Alex each is backing. He's going to pick up the package and then roam towards the bottom lane. So they're going to hear the sound go off and know pretty much he's he's coming straight bot. That bottom lane, which you would expect with the matchup. So really good on them. And who he actually gets pulled over the wall there. It's not ideal for him. He's gonna be forced to pop the flash, getting away from the roots coming at him from Hakuo, who made the rotation up. Was just over the wall, ready to provide that lockdown. Alex each, of course, gonna spin the exhaust there as well. Between these top laners, the tank war. Huhi gonna be chrono breaking out as Ninja makes his way towards mid lane. Huhi recognizes the danger and immediately bails. Yeah, but of course now it's gonna show that the closest person to the Rengar is actually Darshan. So what Ninja's doing is he's running around saying, okay, wherever my ultimate snaps to, because it'll actually reveal the closest person to Rengar, pretty much regardless of range. He's running around the jungle saying, there's no Olaf on the top side. Bottom lane needs to watch out now, because Olaf is definitely on that side of the map. So now they're going to start traveling down there. Alex each will now rotate as well. It's Darshan yeah. trying to find the twisted advance onto Alex each. Going to be deep behind enemy lines. Still looking to make more happen, but it's 3v1. In comes Xmithy. Darshan still tanking. In the back line for first blood. Takes down Ninja. Now they're looking to grab even more. Xmithy bursting away. Bullet time over the wall. Will not find Alex. Stixay's got to be careful now, too. Seraph looking to find the play onto him. Hakuo exhausted. More damage poured into the NB line. Apollo. It's going to be Alex exploded. Apollo into the fight. Looking to find the damage onto Stixay. Three dead on each side. As Huhi gets himself out. What a bloodbath. A little bit more tempo in the bottom lane. And Ninja. Oh, this is not good news for him. Arrow's going to be finding its mark. A little bit more damage from Xmithy. Seals the deal. Aframu going to be taking the credit for that one. His first one of the game is CLG. Gets their murder and gets away with it. We started playing jungle recently and also on top of that, banned quite frequently, but hold on. Xmithy caught. Xmithy going to be caught out a little bit. Bursted down very rapidly. Heal going to be popped. Stixa keeping him alive. Bullet time in retaliation. Stranglethorn's going to be used too. Who he's got the kill on Apollo. Exhaust onto Stixa. Phosphorus bomb taking him low. Here comes Chrono Break. The damage from Feral of Convergence. Can the stun come in? Chrono Break now going to be used. Who he doing the damage he needs to do. Three dead on the side of Envy. Seraph gonna be chased down. Who he's got even more damage. Darshan's there with the lockdown. CLG, one for three. Beautiful play there as well. Stixay actually point blank arrows Apollo as Aphromoo is ultiing, so Apollo cannot finish the kill, and it allows them to clean up the fight, and they're going to get this mid turret, and the split push will be online after this for CLG. CLG, they grab turret number two. They might just grab Seraph as well. I don't know what he's doing hanging around that long. 
not tanky enough to survive at this point in the game. Who he again gonna be cashing in? Yeah, now they're gonna start putting their 80 carry support up top to try and get that turret as well. Afro does get caught out there. It's a good jump on by Ninja, but then just so much damage from Smithy on that Olaf. Able to actually pop the ultimate to avoid the CC and deal a little bit extra damage when he pops it. The Lich Bane will help him shred those turrets. It's a big part of it. TP gonna be used here. CLG wants to fight. Who needs the mole? Making some kind of a move. There comes your parallel convergence. Gonna be grabbing the shield, but he's stuck in the middle of the fight. Ninja's gonna be bursted down very rapidly. Who he on a rampage now looking to chase down even further. Alex each gotta be careful. Who he runs him down. It's Smithy gonna be grabbing the kill. Seraph off alone, running from the CLG roster, chasing him down. Tries to Spider-Man his way out of the trouble. Going to be finding the line onto one wall. But is it going to be enough? Yes, it will. CLG, though, still going to be taking two for nothing. About. Yep. Who he ease off to, onto Alex Siege and then Proto Belts into the Parallel Convergence to try and get the stun. Uh, so it's a little bit extra movement so that he can juke people out. Hold on, trying to make a pick here on Envy's side. Afro move gonna be exploded. Apollo gonna be grabbing the kill credit for it, but it's Ninja and Seraph who set the play up. And Smithy rotates over along with Huhi to make sure that Envy can't find anything else off the back of a play, but a nice clean pickup for Envy's side. On the CLG here, if they can, Darshan can make a TP in the fight if given an opportunity. Oh, yeah, hey, Stick is gonna be forced to flash away. Who he looking to do anything he can? Alex each into the back line. Stick stay destroyed. Afro Moo gonna be melted out too. Who he exhausted, unstoppable though. Grab the kill onto Hakuo. Ninja into the back line. Darshan now alone. Envy doing everything they can. Gonna be burning this guy away. It's slow, but it's there. Darshan gonna be falling too, and that is four for one. Envy grabbing the play. And they could grab the Baron right here if they all start going towards it. So Xmithy is trying to cause pressure in the mid, saying, you will trade me this mid tier two if you want to do Baron. And now Xmithy's still up, doesn't have the Ragnarok available. Teleport for who he, he's up in 25 seconds. If Envy can do this really quickly, they'll be able to pick it up. But they have to watch out, because this is an Olaf still. He could throw axes, do a little bit of damage, but it would be suicide for Xmithy. Ninja's quite low, Ninja's super low. Ninja might just get himself killed. One more auto attack from Baron will kill him. Baron taken very, very close to death. It's gonna be secured. Ninja gonna go ahead and grab it. Smithy gonna be killed too. They grab the Baron, they get an extra freebie, and all of the sudden, Zyrene Envy is right back in this game. They can get out of it. They could get quite a lot here since there's outer turrets still up, but Ninja gonna test himself. How much damage can he deal? Ninja wants to try to go for the 1v1 against who he here bursts him incredibly low. Who he gonna be escaping for now? Timewinder buys him enough time to dash himself away as Xmithy now gonna be caught out in the side. Gonna be forced to pop that Ragnarok, but he's already gone. Envy grabbing one for free. Are now in the gold lead here by 1400. Arrow comes out, arrow fired off. Not gonna be finding anyone just yet. Who he forced to chrono break immediately. Not gonna be having that for this fight. Darshan versus Seraph gonna be soaking some damage. Stranglethorn zoning the rest of CLG away. Darshan is tanky, but how long will he last? Sixay is going to be bound up. Timewinder into the back line. Who he taken down by Ninja as Envy gets one. Hanging out in this zone, a control ward thrown TP. over the wall by Xmithy. TP is going to be used though. Sixay and Afro They're vulnerable. Seraph looking for Sixay. Parallel convergence comes down. Can they keep him protected? Stranglethorn's going to be used, but it's Afro already dead. Seraph soaking damage, but it's going to be returned right back into him. Focus fire finding so, so much. Sixay still alive. GA is going to be popped. Who he in full retreat, but Alex Each is on the hunt. One more auto attack takes him. Darshan's going to be number two. One more will get it. There you go, Hakuo. Grabbing a kill for himself. Ninja and the rest of Envy still alive. Free dead on CLG. What a fight. <laughs> Envy. Again, coming up with success. Baron being secured, should be no contest here. Locked away for the second time this game. Screen? Nope, that's nope. gonna go over to CLG. CLG grabbing themselves the Elder Drake, and remember, they got all three basic elemental drakes that occurred in this game. So that Elder Drake buff gonna be giving them a very potent true damage burn that may just enable them to be able to win this next team fight. It's gonna be 180 true damage. Every time somebody hits them, burn them over time. So the poke definitely means a lot here, but also the duration of the Elder Dragon 
will cut into the duration of the Baron, so you can't push that advantage as much as you'd like to if you're Envy. And CLG are just right back into this game off of that. Mercurial Scimitar still needs to be finished for Apollo. Seraph going to be jumped on by both Huhi and Darshan. He's got Guardian Angel, so he can buy a lot of time. But all of CLG is collapsing onto him. He'll be wasting as much time of these guys as he can. How many spells? Are they willing to commit to burning him down quickly? The Guardian Angel should fall just momentarily. They grab that for themselves. Ninja gonna be popping the ult. Parallel Convergence laid down. Seraph gonna be stunned up. Strangle Thorns is there! Seraph pops first. Ninja into the back line, gonna be killed. He's too far out from the rest of the team. Arrow exceeds sidestepping. Apollo gonna be cured of that stun. Who he grabbing the kill onto Ninja as the rest of Envy heads for the hill. Seraph giveth and he taketh away. He caught out, split pushing, and decides to run towards his team, run down the lane. It takes him way too long. He wastes his GA and then he gets picked up on top of it. And then it costs them their other guardian angel on Ninja. Envy, not the right play there to try and help Seraph out. And Seraph getting caught in the first place was really bad. True tragedy for Envy. They looked so good for a while, but now CLG is again comfortable in the driving seat. CLG breaks inhibitor turret number one. They're looking for inhibitor number one as well. They've got a three versus five for the next 15 seconds. They've got their goal and they're getting out. Question though. Does Seraph TP into flank? They're pinging all over. You can see he's like, Tri Brush. I'm coming in on Tri Brush. I want to kill these guys. Where's the TP? There's the They're TP. They're looking to make the play, though, in reverse. Alec Needs going to be shut down. Yes. CLG, they're not willing to be jumped on. The play will not be Envy's to make. And now it's Seraph who's going to be tanking this whole thing up. CLG may just be looking to end it right now. Ninja in the ulti, but nowhere to jump just yet. Going to be turned and burned. The exhaust down, the bullet time out. Stick stay alive. CLG. Almost everybody on this team is so low. They are so close to death. They played that team fight perfectly. Seraph had to cancel his TP and come back and save the team, but it wasn't enough, and CLG will win. You can hear the thunder sticks in the audience. You can hear how excited people are to see CLG come back from what looked like almost a throw and take game one.